These were the scenes in Dublin last weekend when scores of asylum seekers were forced to sleep outside the International Protection Office in tents without electricity, running water or sanitation. The experience for those seeking shelter created a humanitarian crisis in itself. As we attempted to conduct an interview, we were met by an angry protester whose sentiment was that the Irish state is treating asylum seekers as a greater priority while 14,000 Irish people remain homeless. These are illegal migrants looking for free accommodation in Ireland. What about the Irish homeless and your NGOs looking after them? No, no, you're not, you, just hear, you don't care about the Irish homeless. You're jumping on the bandwagon. You don't care about the Irish people. Is I heard jumping on the bandwagon. No, we need homes for the Irish 14,000 Irish homeless families. Jed from Jordan, speaking through an interpreter, said the conditions in recent weeks were awful. The situation was very bad. There was no services at all. There was no toilets, no showers. They haven't showered for a week. They have no idea what to do. It was raining on them, raining on the tents, and it was very cold. The Irish government moved some of those living in tents to alternative accommodation. However, the way new asylum seekers in Ireland are being treated has enraged opposition members in the Irish Parliament who are accusing the government of creating a culture war. Between dereliction, empty properties, overpricing, not building enough social housing, not having enough affordable housing for young people who are working and who want to buy their own property. They've made an absolute bags of it and they're compounding that by creating a culture war between refugees and homeless Irish people. I don't accept that. The Irish government says it is doing all it can to house asylum seekers relative to available accommodation, but many observers believe that poor treatment of refugees is proof that the day of an open Irish welcome are coming to an end. There's a growing feeling here that the inhumane scenes witnessed here in recent weeks may be part of an Irish government message. And that message is that if people are thinking of coming to Ireland and seeking refuge, then maybe they should consider going elsewhere. This is Ken Murray for Euronews in Dublin.